the sun is out, the sky is clear, all the wee birds are singing, and I am section hiking part of the Isher Coastal Path. For those of you that don't know, the Isher Coastal Path is a long distance walk that stretches all the way from Glenapp in the south to Skullmorley in the north. And because I don't have much experience with long distance walks, I thought I'd give it a try because I'd quite like to do the West Highland Way, the Arran Coastal Path and the Cape Rav Trail at some point in my life. Today I'm walking from Maidens to Dunure. It's a really lovely bit of the coast and a place I know really well. So I'm just testing myself out, testing out my gear. The first thing that I've noticed is how difficult it is to actually film and walk. It's more in my head though. I haven't been out for a while so I just need to get my head back in the game. My target for today is round this headland here. So basically I'll be coming all the way along here, along the shore, and then you have to climb up and then through the fields and then down the other end of this into Denure. Oh aye, this is more like it. I'd love one of them. Imagine, I've come to read your meter. Boom! No more. Someone gets in your way at the shop. Blammo! Yes! <laughs> aye, bring back the cannon. Anyway, here's the castle. Right, heading down to the shore. Looks like the tide's in, so things might get a wee bit hairy here. Wee cottage. Perfect place for a cheeky wee camp. So we're heading over here. I can see the two sisters of Denure. I can also see the observatory tower, which are things that I will show you later on. They seem quite far away, but as always when walking, if you can see something with your eye, it's actually not that far away, so we'll see what happens. There's big sandstone cliffs here, and through erosion, there's some really interesting shapes. This is what I mean. You see the rocks all scalloped out. It would appear that the tide is now on its way out, which means when I get to Croy Shore, it should be passable. I think that's the only part of this particular stretch that's impassable at high tide. Coops managed to find a, a tiny wee tennis ball. Coops, show them. Hey, look at the size of that. It's like a crab apple. Still a ball though. Good boy. He's absolutely loving it. According to my GPS, I've done 9.36 kilometers so far, and we're not at Croy Shore yet. The whole leg is supposed to be 10 kilometers, pretty much on the button. So it'll be interesting to see at the end of this, how much additional distance has been covered trying to make this video. I'm just talking nonsense now, trying to keep myself occupied. Coops is like, Never mind keeping yourself occupied, kick my ball! Are you okay? Are you okay? Right, just take it easy. That's another wee lesson learned. Watching Hounds of Howgate, which is a great channel by the way. Big John's got his dog Moss. The wee collie. And there's been a couple of videos where she's hurt her leg and he's had to carry her. 
and Coops. I don't know, I kicked his ball for him. He went after it, then let out a wee whimper. I don't know if he's caught it in like a bit of sharp shell or something. He's all right now, but you know, if something like that happened and you in the middle of nowhere, what are you supposed to do? Thankfully, you know, we're not far away from civilization. And the main road is up there and I could get us picked up. But that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. I want to see the things that could happen, uh, you know, situations that could arise so that should I do something that's a bit more remote, then I know how to deal with it. So this is Croy Shore. Extensive views. Klein Castle, Turnberry Lighthouse, Eels of Craig, up the Firth and the Isle of Arran. Oh aye. I can see it now. So while you could scramble over these, see how it can be very difficult here. This is with the tide going out. Still sort of lapping at the rocks. So you might have to wade, but in a stormy day you wouldn't want to do it. Have to be careful here because it's slippy. Now we can go along here, but the tide is still very high and it's very slippy rock. So I think I'm going to forgo that go with my original plan and we cut up the cliffs here. From this vantage point you can see where we've come. So down here is Maidens. We've come along the coast past Culane, along to Croy Shore, along and then up and we're now heading for Denure. basically sort of field walking so stick to the edge of the field just so the farmers are happy I chose April to do this and there's no midges there are ticks and Denure is currently tick central Coops is always bloody getting them there even though he has treatment he's whimpered a few times with that paw again but he's not limping why would there have been signs for keeping your dog in a leash because of sheep I could see for miles up at the far end and there's no sheep in any of the fields they've all been tilled for turnips and tatties. The farmers are actually working the fields just now so I've just kept Coops off. He's good off a leash anyway. This is a lovely wee spot. you think? To prevent escape. I'll tell you what, that afternoon sun's got some heat in it man. I'm gonna have to deal here. I've brought shorts but now that I'm heading into Denure I can't put them on because of the ticks. So I'll take a couple of layers off under this shirt. So we're heading up around this field, up to the observatory there. So let's just transition to that. I've actually got two of my favourite ever panoramas at this location, so I'll show you them now.
the Ayrshire coastal path follows this wee trail down and it drops down the cliffs. Alternatively, if you're scun it, the road is right there and that'll take you right down into Denure. Only take you 10 minutes or so. This way's a wee bit longer, but it's more scenic. This path forks off down the bottom, so you can get a more scenic coastal walk over the rocks and that. If you go left, and if you go right, it'll take you straight up to the castle. And I'm gonna do the latter. I'd originally planned to um, go down through the brush, down here, because there's amazing views down there. You've got sisters there, and you've got all these promontories here. They're really nice, but the land before that is tech central so we are going to go down here and follow this path up to the castle prime tech territory and there it is it's in your castle 